Good morning, kids. Here we are back again with some fun activities for you. So, my name is Nirali Shah and I'm your teacher from Mumbai Montessori Teacher Training Institute. So, today we are going to learn about shapes. You know, which shape? The shape you all will love learning about. So, here I have a cone shape. You know, this is a party hat that you'll wear on birthday parties. Yes. So, the hat we wear is a cone shape. So, let's say a rhyme and describe how a cone looks. Repeat after me, okay? Cone head, cone head, pointy and tall. You stand so straight and never fall. So, a cone is like a party hat. It's pointy at the top like that. And it's round and white at the bottom part. And that's what makes a cone so smart. Cone head, cone head, pointy and tall. You stand so straight and never fall. So now let's learn and know what cones we have around us okay so here we have different kinds of cones you see this x mystery yes children this x mystery or a christmas tree we see during christmas right and this has a cone shape which is pointed at the top and flat and wide at the bottom. The next we have is a traffic cone. Have you all seen this traffic cones? So when we go out, when we travel, these traffic cones are placed so that we do not get stuck or we are away from danger. Next we have a cocktail glass. Where do we see these cocktail glasses? When you go to restaurants or hotels or some parties, we see such cocktail glasses. So the cocktail glass is also cone in shape, but it is an inverted cone where it is wide at the top and it's pointed down. The next we have is a horn on a unicorn. Who knows about this magical animal that looks like a horse or a goat? Oh, lovely. So here this unicorn has a cone shape on its forehead where this horn is known as like it will have a magical power. Next, we have yummy, tasty French fries. Where do we see them? When we go to McDonald's or some restaurants, they serve French fries in this cone-shaped packets. Right, children? Next, we have a stacking toy. You must be having this toy at your place, right? When you fill and play with these colorful rings and when you finish playing with this, the ultimate shape of this toy gives a shape that is like a cone. Next, we have this yummy carrot. Tasty, tasty orange carrot. You know, children, this is very good for your health and also it's good for your eyes. You should have this carrot every day in your meal in terms of salad or also a carrot cake can be made from this, which is again a cone-shaped carrot. Right, children? 
which is inverted cone. Next, we have a funnel. This funnel you'll find in your kitchen. When mama wants to put some substance into a container, these funnels are used. The last, we have a ice cream cone. Who loves eating ice creams? The cone we have is again inverted cone shaped. Okay, children. Here, we see such different cones around us in our day-to-day -day life. Next, we will go and learn about different cones that we see around and color them okay so here we have this yummy pink strawberry ice cream so let's color the ice cream in pink and the cone which we see here in brown next we have a xmas tree so the tree is going to be green in color which has a cone shaped and its trunk will be brown in color. Next, we have a party hat. You all love wearing party hats, right, on your birthdays? So, let's color in different colors and make this hat more beautiful. The last, we have a wizard hat, which is again cone in shape. So, the wizard hat is black in color. So, we'll color the hat in black and the little stars in yellow. Okay, children? So, when you go home, color these beautiful pictures and come tomorrow. Okay? There's one more fun activity for you where we learn the spelling or the word of cone. So, here again, we have a beautiful party hat, which you need to color. And it spells like C-O-N-E. It says cone. The next, we have trace the word cone and trace the shape of the cone, which is pointed at the top and wide at the bottom. So, you need to learn the spelling of cone and trace and write the word cone. So, it says C dotted O dotted N and dotted E. The next work or the activity for you is once you learn the spelling of cone, write it yourself here and draw a cone here. Okay, children? So, these are fun activities where you learn the spelling of cone, you love coloring the cone and also you learn what other images we have or what other things we have around our environment and ourselves. Thank you.